Smashed it. Got it someone. One second. Oh, mine's dirty. <laughs> I, I think it was that one I just. Uh, no matter. Hold on. Different. I think that one. I just got there that one. There you go. Mask check. All right. No funny business. <laughs> All right, so. What are we doing here? All right, so. Here with Chef Roberto. What's up, guys? And uh, we were sitting in the office thinking, what can we do that is like valuable, right? Like, what kind of videos can we make? Bring, you know, to we, bring value, to bring. bring something right like something that people need like yeah we want to be entertaining but we really want to be educational so what is something that we could do that is beneficial so what we got is chicken because once you start saying i'm getting healthy then it becomes how much chicken do I need to eat along with broccoli? So, yeah, usually chicken is the protein of choice when uh, you start a so called diet or whatever it is, healthy eating, it's always chicken. Exactly. So, we're gonna do a six part video series on chicken, starting with this video. What do you call it? Deboning? Is that uh, really no, deboning? No, no. How to break down a whole chicken. That's how to break down a whole chicken. See, because we were thinking, we were kind of crunching the numbers. And we were thinking, it's more, or it's 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 better financial in your in your pocket to buy whole chickens and bringing them down on your own than to buy them separate, already cut up in parts. Because when you buy them already pre-cut and stuff like that, you're paying for the labor. And on top of that, you're also kind of paying them to keep the bones. You know what I mean? So when you buy a whole chicken, it's a lot cheaper because the bones are included. And then on top of that, the bones are good too. Make amazing stuff with the bones. It's not useless. So, so we're gonna take a chicken. We're gonna show you how to break it down. Break it down. And then we're gonna show you a handful of recipes that you can do with the remaining parts of the chicken how to cook them, how to utilize the breasts properly, how to utilize the thighs, the legs, the wings, and best of all, also the chicken skin. That is, I, me personally, my favorite part of the chicken uh, is the chicken skin. So I'm excited Maybe to show you guys. Uh, only when it comes from Popeye's though. Only when it comes from Popeye's, well, this is actually gonna be better. It's gonna be natural, fresh, delicious. You guys are gonna like, like it. I'm really excited about this video because uh, how we said, we're, we're really, really thinking like, what is the best value that we can bring to you guys? And we believe that uh, this video is gonna be, it's gonna bring a lot of, a lot of value. Sure. For sure. So uh, let's get to the store and let's pick out a chicken. Just cure. We just uh, procured, acquired <laughs> a, a chicken from 
the local grocery store and what we found is that a whole chicken is really inexpensive. Yeah, really. I think it was uh, 99 cents a pound. Yeah, so we ended up paying $6.16 for a whole chicken, which gets us, or it might be $6 and some change, I don't know exactly, but you get a whole chicken, which is two breasts, two thighs, two drums, and two wings. When we were looking at some of the prices, you're paying three three dollars for four drums uh one of them was six six dollars four, four or five dollars for uh thighs so although it may not be a big huge millions and billions of dollar differences there is still a drastic difference if you just put in the work and imagine once we create the our stock how much money that actually saves you as well when you're uh, when you're out grocery shopping. I think being a little more efficient in the kitchen, which you say, Chef Roberto. I would say that's like the way to go. I mean, if we think about it, again, I'm, I'm a very uh, zero waste kind of guy, and I do believe that utilizing the whole animal is probably the best way to respect the animal. And to have that addition of bones to create a chicken stock, which open so many avenues to your cooking you have liquid to make uh, flavorful rice you have a liquid a flavorful liquid to make any kind of sauce a braising liquid so many applications to this so i believe that whole chicken should be the way to go because if you think about it right like i said we crunch the numbers you buy a couple of these whole chickens right say they're all marked like at six bucks you buy four that's 24 dollars and from there i mean you do the math four times two you have eight chicken breasts eight thighs eight legs eight wings eight flats you know so you buy what was what was the price on those those chicken breasts chicken oh those chicken breasts were super expensive they were like eight dollars for four exactly eight dollars for four skinless uh skinless bones of chicken breasts see and then on top of that you take out the good stuff man you take out the good stuff it's a shame it's a shame it's a shame so yeah, so I think I think whole chickens is well. I'm, I'm super excited. I'm, to I'm excited to show you guys that. I think I I hope that after you guys watch this video, you guys are gonna consider buying whole chickens instead of buying their individual parts. That is my goal of this video is to make you guys buy whole chickens or consider buying whole chickens over individual parts. Now of course you know we know everybody not everybody you know doesn't suit them, but for those that might have the the time to do it. I know it's going to benefit you guys. Yep. And the first lesson is how to take it apart. Yes. So let's get to that. Let's do it. Welcome guys, we're now in the garage or our test kitchen. Uh, we're getting ready to break down our chicken here. So as you can see, we have the whole bird here. Uh, it comes with your two breasts, your two wings. Uh, we have our legs and then our thighs are kind of tucked away back here. Um, so essentially what I, how I like to start breaking down my chicken, uh, I like to uh, start with the breast. 
As you can see, there's like a little fine little indentation right here. That's what you're gonna follow. But before we do that, if you guys find this content very valuable, make sure you guys subscribe and like, all right? Because our goal here at Plus One is to get you guys a little bit healthier, to have a little more fun a little while longer. So let's get started. First things first, um, equipment, tools. Uh, this right here is a little small Japanese Sentoku knife style. Uh, this is one of my favorite knives to use when I uh, carve birds. Uh, also, you could also use a, a deboning knife, really small, flexible as you can see. These really work great as well um, for this application. So let's get started. First things first, we're gonna make that incision down the middle, like so. And if you put your hands in the middle through here, you're gonna feel that there's this little bone. I don't know if you can see this little white part right here, the little carcass. It's gonna split the breast right there look at that all right boom now at this point what i'm going to be doing i'm just going to follow along the carcass down all right just like that same thing on the other side down following the carcass all the way down you can see here the wishbone is kind of broken normally you would follow that down So now that I made my little first cuts, I'm now going to separate it from the thigh, right over here. You'll see this little extra excess skin and liquid and stuff. Don't worry about that. Same thing on the other side, cutting it. All right, right now your chicken looks a little uh, mutilated, but don't worry about that. Now the next step. You're gonna grab your thighs. You're gonna feel that bone that runs through the thigh. You're gonna go ahead and take it out of this joint. What I like to do, I'll hold it from the back right here and just push up. You'll hear a little crack. Same thing with the other one, boom. I'm gonna turn it over so you guys can see. You can see here, you see, disjointed, disjointed. Now, let's go back to our breast. Now, when we get to this point, the breast is actually connected to the wing right here okay so I'm gonna try to cut around the joint so I can remove the breast so all right you come on over make your cut and oh uh oh making a cut into a wing and there is our first chicken breast set this up to the side it's a plumpy one dude it's a plumpy breast Oh, actually, look, the wishbone. Found it. I'm gonna get it out. Careful, guys, with your fingers. Make sure not to uh, cut them off. But you can see, right, the, the wishbone. I don't like it. It gets in the way, so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it. All right. Same thing I did on the other side. All right. Turn this thing over. Now what I'm gonna do next is gonna take off the wings. You can see here, this is where it's uh, connected to the carcass. It's just gonna cut around that joint, all right? Uh, like so, voila, whole wings. Whole wings. Why is that? Why is whole wings your know. favorite, dude? Maybe it's a cultural thing. Oh, you think so? <laughs> you see that? Just clean, cut it right off that joint. No problem there. All right, now let's work into our thighs. So here's pretty pretty straightforward. You're gonna have this extra part right here of the skin. Oh, sorry, you're gonna have uh, this little flat part right here. Um, you don't have to worry about it. I like to remove it though. There's still like, it's kind of like uh, a mix of like skin and meat. I'm gonna use this later for our chicharrones. They're really good when they get nice and crispy. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this out. Save a lot of that fat too, guys. You wanna render that fat for later use as well. Chicken fat is actually very delicious. Uh, very flavorful and it adds an extra dynamic of flavor to, to your dishes if you cook with it. So uh, keep that in mind as well. See what I mean? So many applications you know, to do with this. So back here we have what I like to call the, the oyster of the chicken. You see these two little bumps right here. That right there is my favorite part of the chicken. 
I don't know why, the little piece of meat, it's literally like a little medallion like that. It's just so succulent, so delicious. Uh, every time I get asked to carve the turkey for uh, Thanksgiving, I, uh, I make sure I make sure that I uh, that I get the oyster and no one else knows about. So that's what I like to do right here. Make sure I get that oyster in there and then just make my incision down the back. Same thing on the other side. You see how I'm moving it around and stuff like that. I, I like to do that because, you know, it's comfortable for me to really uh, move the chicken around in different positions so that I can get the most that I can out of it without slicing my hands or my fingers. All right, so now that I separate that from the back, I'm gonna come in through the joint and just cut right through, like so. So here we have that to the side. Same thing on the other side, on my joint or my bone and cut right in. Uh oh, no, my oyster. And you see that, here's my carcass. Here is the thighs. All right, the thigh and the drum. The thigh and the drum. So now we're gonna separate these, but one second, let's see, let me clean up here. Had a lot of water. Sometimes you'll find birds like that. Um, more of those organic free range might not have a lot of water like these do. Uh, so it's just more on your preference of what you like. Uh, all right, so now let's go ahead and separate the thigh and the, the leg. I don't know if you can see here, I'm gonna try to remove that. There's this line of fat right there. If you see it, that's kind of an indicator, a line telling you this is where to cut to separate. So I'm just gonna take my knife and just straight down. And look at that, look right through that joint, right down the middle. So same thing with the other one. Again, find my little line of fat right down the middle. Oh, boom. Now we have two separate ones. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare our thighs because we are gonna be doing a stir fry with our thighs. I love making stir fries with thighs because I believe thighs have the most flavor of all. The reason being because uh, the chicken moves a lot, you know, they walk, they're flightless birds, so they walk around a lot, they're always exercising their thighs, so the more exercise, the more oxygen, the more oxygen, the more flavor. Keep that in mind. So, you need to make a little incision to the side, just follow along the bone, like so, around the little joints, just like that. I like to squeeze my thumb, my fingers in between, if you can see the little top of my finger, like so, and then just take your blade, just bring it right up and then turn the side of your knife and just kind of scrape it down. Right here, you can see that connective tissue. You can just slice right out and boom, save this. Save this beautiful bone. We're gonna need that. We're gonna make some delicious stock. And just like that, look at that. Deep bone thigh. Let's go ahead and do that to the next one. Same thing, one side. Other side of the bone, fingers in between make the little hole underneath, lay it underneath and up. Scrape down, scrape, scrape, scrape. Actually, you know what, if you, if you even like to, you can even leave it like so, you know, kind of create like a little lollipop style thigh, if you like. Uh, I'll see what I can work with, maybe even create like a, a false chicken leg with a thigh. Hopefully we get a video with that coming soon, we'll see. But they rip it off. Oh or keep it or uh, cut it off, but oh well. We're still gonna cut them in bits like this, so no problem there. All right, so there you have it, folks. Look at that, we have one thigh here. Where's the other one? Here it is. Here's our other one, two thighs. We have our leg, right? We have our wings. We have our breast, and last but not least, our carcass. So that's it, folks. It's pretty pretty straightforward. Um, not much to it, as you can see. But like I said, make sure that we're gonna utilize every single piece of the chicken. So stay tuned because uh, we're gonna make a stock with uh, this carcass, and I'm really excited to show you.